Very good. Okay, let's stop. Do you have an English one? What about you, Nachman Yosef? Aramaic, yeah. That's good. The Mishnah is in Hebrew, but this is Aramaic. This is, it means four. It's okay, okay. Kuf, Yud, Amudal. It says in the Gemara, we want to know how people in Babylonian actually connected to eating khal. Now khal, it's where the, you know, the, the milk comes out from the from the from the from the, from the animal. Yeah? Very good. The khal. Other. 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 Yeah. Okay. But besuro loy achli khal. Dav kuf yud amodav. Besuro loy achli khal. In Sura, the city of Sura, People, the custom is not to eat khal. Not to eat butter, how you call it? In the middle. Adder, adder. Adder. How is it? Adder. 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 Okay. Bepumbedise achli khal. Where are you holding? I'm holding daf kuf yud amodale. Okay. Excuse me. It's. Yeah. <laughs> Where you find the place. I'll tell you when he's coming down. Are we talking about Anna Khal? Yeah, Khal. Besura, you have it? Anna Khal. Yeah. Romi Bar we bring you a story, okay? Romi Bar Tamri, do you have it? It's okay. You have it? Romi Bar Tamri, do Romi Bar Dekula, mi Pumbedise. From the city of Pumbedisa, you have it, the word Pumbedisa? The word Pumbedisa. Oh, much lower, okay. Okay? Pumbedisa. Ikla lesuro bemale yoima de Kippuri. He came to the city of Pumbedisa, that their custom is what? Not, and their custom was to eat khal. <laughs> the custom was to eat khal, yeah? And they came to the city of, uh, uh, came to the city on the Arab Yom Kippur, okay? And the time that everybody, every Yom Kippur is accustomed to eat, to eat a lot of meat, to eat meat or whatever it is in order to have strength, to have strength to, to be able to, to, to keep the fast. Afkino kula amelekechlino. Everyone, yeah, took the khal out of the behemoth and shadino, they threw it out. They didn't want to eat it. Ozal iu naktinu bachlo. Romi bardikulo. He actually what? He was, he had to eat. So what he did, he actually took all the khal, the butter, and he actually ate it. I up here. So everybody said, listen, the whole town is threw it out because they did customers not to eat it, and you're eating it. Does it make sense? So they brought him in front of Rav Chizda to punish him. Omale, so Rav Chizda told Terami Bardikulo, Amai Tervidochi, why you did, why you ate the khal? It shouldn't be that way. Omale, so Rami Bardikulo told him, Me'asr de Rav Yudah Ane de Achil, I'm coming from Pumbadis, the city, that the custom is that they, they do eat khal, and that's why I eat khal. What's he called? What? What's he called? Roasted? Uh, really? What's from Asro, the Rabiuda, Anna, the Ochil. I'm from the city of, of Rabiuda that we do eat khal. Omalei, so Rabchiz, the told Rami Ba, the Kulo. You're not accepting on yourself that humor of what that the custom is when you leave a city, so you don't take your old batch. What do you do? You take your new custom of the new city. And since this city is what? Is not actually what? We don't eat khal. So, so you should not eat khal. Right. It's forbidden for you to eat khal. Because you have to take the humus of the city, the new city. Mm-hmm. I went out of the boundary of the city 
And since I went out of the boundary of the city, that's why I don't have to accept the custom of the city, and I'm allowed to eat khaw. The Gemara adds to this issue. How did you eat it? How did you cook it? If you're out of the city, you don't have any, how you have, you don't have any bakers, how you do it? Omar, he told him, I cooked it with the, the, the putini is the, the, the seeds of the grapes. And since was a, a Yekev was a, 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 a winery, winery, that, and I burnt it, and together, that's what I did, that's how I burnt it, and that's how it came, what? Uh, that's how I cooked the khaw. The Gemara asked, how you did it? Deal me me, I mess a boy. How did you know that it, you could cook from this, from this, uh, from this uh, grapes uh, uh, seeds? Maybe it was some yai mesech, and yai mesech is forbidden. Why in the world that the Gentile touched it, or someone is not keeping Shabbos, you're not allowed to use it. So it's also about no, you're not able to enjoy it. So how you use it to burn and to cook he this khal? He went outside the tchum and ate it. And it. <laughs> Omali, you know, the chief rabbi of Israel, like of Lao, gave a shir exactly this Gemara when we actually learning Chuli. When we got the Smicha, he actually spoke with this issue. Oh, and if you remember, I said to you, do you remember that? Omali, so he told him, that was after 12 months. And after 12 months, it gets dried up. And when it's dried up, then there's no problem. He asked him, maybe he was stealing. Because it will belong to someone. Oma liyush I know that what? That already the owners gave up on that. Why? The katcho beuchilufi. Because already grew on it, already uh, green. So you know that what? Already was like, already was rotten. Nobody already, anybody owned it, already gave up on that. So we're not yeah, conscious yeah, for that. Yeah, 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 the Gemara yeah, yeah, continues. Chaz yed deloyave manach tefillin. He saw that, that Rabbi Bar Tamre doesn't wait tefillin. So, come on, you're big in London. How, how it's possible you don't wait tefillin the whole day? Why you don't wait tefillin? I'm sick, my stomach, I have a... Uh, um, that I have to go to the bathroom every two minutes. I, I can't keep myself clean. That's why I cannot wait tefillin. Omar... He saw that he didn't have tzitzis. He didn't have the tzitzis on his baguette. How it's possible? He doesn't wear a talus. Why don't we wear tzitzis in your clothes? And we learned, let's turn the page. Talit, talit, beg it, beg it. Boro, boro, No, shula, the, what was shul? The talit. The talit was shul, yeah? Talit shula. Kol shlo shimyam, pturo mena tzitzis. That's why I don't pay tzitzis. Why? Because talit, beg it, the talit is shula, you don't have to pay it all three days. You don't have to put uh, tzitzis on it. What is it? Shula again is what? Shula is, is I lend it. Ah, boro, right. Boro, boro, yes. boro. Talis. The talis, yeah. You don't have to put tzitzis on it? Yeah, 30 days. You can't days. wear it. No, no, you could wear it. You don't have to put tzitzis. Really? Yeah. yeah. It's rare. It's such a thing. Because it says in the Torah, we learned it. It says, Gedilim ta'aseh lecha al arba kvenpot ksutcha asher techos lebo. So what it says, ksutcha, only you ksut. When it's yours. But if it's shahu, you don't have, in 30 days, you don't have to put tzitzis. And the blessing, Rabbi. What? Can you say a blessing on uh, the blessing, blessing probably. Uh, uh, oh, so this is Taisus. Taisus right over there. Talis Shulap Tul Koshlo Shul. So Taisus says that Charlie. What about the Bracha? So Taisus says that uh, that uh, that you can make a Bracha. Yes, like Mitzvah says, you should man like woman. Same way, women can make a bracha even though they're not chayv. They're not. It's called zman mitzvah seshas and groma. Also, over here, they can make a bracha because of what it's in the thirty. It's a. It's it's mitzvah seshas and legora from women. You make the mechitzah on tzitzit bracha. What? Yes, you can make a bracha on the tzitzit. On a garment that doesn't have tzitzit. Yeah. No, no, no. It has to have tzitzit. Of course. Of course, but if the garment is not yours, so would have said that what? Maybe you don't have to make a bracha. The answer is no. Okay, you have okay. to make a bracha. Anyhow, the gemara continues. 
at the Ochi, as we were talking at the Aisul, Lau Gavret, the Loya, the Moika, Abu Ebime. They brought in what a person what, that didn't respect his father and mother. Kaftu, they, they, uh, they tied them up and they wanted to give him last, to give him punished. In order for him to give respect to his father and mother. Omale Shafkur, leave him alone, the Tani. Call Mitzas Esse Shematan Sro Betzido and Beisdim Shematan Muzor Mala. Since you get rewarded time when you respect your father and mother, you get Barachta Yom, you get long life. So that's why he said, what? Beisdim, they don't have to punish, they don't have to punish him for that. <coughs> because he didn't respect his father and mother. Yeah, oh, Mali, so he's yeah, also no, no, become a talker. I just want to see why, why are they bringing these, these, all these... Uh... It's connected. That was the story that happened. Uh, As they talk, that was uh, the story. Uh, story. <laughs> so, so, oh, Mali. So someone did not give respect to their father and mother. Yes, yeah, so they tied him up. And he says, leave him alone. Why? Because it says what? Any mitzvah, shematan, schor, bitzvah, you get reward for it. Based in, it's not Musa, based in, not, cannot force to do it. So since when you respect your father and mother, you get schah, avod, varechta, you have long life, that's why you cannot force it. So when you're done, you Yes. Omale, so he told him. Omale, yeah. So he told him, yeah. Omale. Chazina loch, decharif tuba, I see that you're really sharp, you really know how to learn, and you're really big learner. If you're such a good learner, and you're such a big learner, yeah, if you're in the place of Rabbi Yudo, he told him, I see you're so sharp. And now if you would have been with Rabbi Yudo, yeah, in Rabbi Yudo, in his place, you would have been even sharper more. You would have been even sharper more. Okay. The Gemara says another story. Talk about Kral. You want to talk about more stories. Omale Abayle Rav Safa. Sabaye told Rav Safa. Kisalik Lawson, when you're going to go up to Eretz Israel, Bomine is the rabbis in Eretz Israel. Kabdo ma atun be. What do you hold about COVID? Are you allowed to cook it? Not, not like we do today. Liver, uh, liver, 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 liver. I'm saying yeah, liver. Not like today that we roast it. We're talking about cooking. It's different. Now today by COVID, what we do, we have liver, you, you do, you, you do shtiva and, uh, and, and you put a little bit salt right. and you grill it, right? right. And it has to be the best of those, uh, the two things that the blood, in order to blood to go, because right. the liver is full of blood. So come the mat to me. What do you hold about liver? Are you allowed to cook it in a, 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 a you're allowed to cook it? That's the right word? Yeah. Yeah. Not roasting. Cook it? Or not? Why? Because the time that you cook it is split. A lot of blood when you cook it, so you allowed a lot. Kisolik, when I found the when Ashkel Ravzika, he found who? Ravzika. And what happened? And he asked them, liver, are you allowed to cook it or not? Omalei, Anna Shlikelei, Le Rabami, Veochal. I myself cooked liver to Rabami, and he ate it. So you see the what? That liver you can cook it, and you can eat it. Gemara says, Ki also legabei, after that, yeah, Rav Safa came in front of Rabbi and he told him whatever Rav Zika said. He said, I cook for who was it? For Rav Ami. And he ate it. So you see that liver you can cook. Omalei, le meisa nashe loi kabi boili. I have no doubt about the liver if it's forbidden after you cook it or not. Why? Because I know it's a rule. I did the Torah to me flat, loy bola, since it's busy to spit out, to spit, it's always spinning, 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 spinning. So Mimele has no time to observe, so that's why it's not forbidden. So what's the question was? Kikami boile, when I asked the question, le meisa chavrose, to ask her other pieces that is in it. Because he himself doesn't observe, but he spits, so when he spits, he spits to the other pieces, the next, the other meat. So that's the question. It's, and it sits in the same path. Is also the other one or not? The Gemara continues. Just one second. That means from the Gemara you could cook liver? 
Uh, I don't know, really, you could cook after you, uh, I think after, uh, after you grill, but, after but, but, but you grill. we're talking about that, since, you, since we're talking about the kekhila. I, I, don't, I don't know what the halakha around, but I have to be honest with you, I don't know the halakha. No, we don't. We don't. We don't. We don't. We don't. I think so, we don't. We don't. We don't. We don't. I'm just wondering why. I know. But the Gemara... It, it seems like you the, could. Yeah, 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 but now like we're debating. Like everything else. But, while it's going but out, but right, right, right now, we're debating, so it's not yeah, right, that much color. But you're right. It's, yeah. You're right. You have a smile. You have a minute. And have a minute, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Like everything else, when it's going out, you can't come in. You're right. I cannot argue with you. You're right. You're right. You're hundred percent right. Okay, let's continue. The Gemara says, "Maishno lemeisa nashet delomi boiloch." Why it's different by liver himself that we say that what you don't have any doubt that for sure it's forbidden. That now we learned in the Mishnah. It says we talk about the liver. It's not forbidden. Yeah. Since she herself, the living are not forbidden, also to us, to be forbidden others, it's also no doubts about it. Why did not? We learned in the Mishnah. The living fell, yeah, that you actually cook it with other meat. The din is not forbidden, it doesn't make it forbidden. Also, what? The living self, she, since she's busy to split, I did the target limit, but since she's busy to split, she doesn't observe from other pieces of the meat. She polleted the inabolat. She's only busy splitting out, sp- spitting, yeah, spitting, 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 and she doesn't observe. That's why the liver is not forbidden. Omar he told them, How you want to say that? Deal me awesome, become the disuba. Over there, we're talking about it's a different case. We're talking about the liver that, yeah? Yeah. It's forbidden to eat because it's talking liver that it belongs to what? To a trafe, to uh, a, 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 a trafe for animals, yeah? Oh, the Gemara continues. Umishum yeah. Yeah, and the reason it's acid, they cook it together, it's not because of the, the blood, it's because of the fatness that it has in it, that what? That that can be observed in other pieces. <laughs> so we said that's why the reason because of the fact that that's forbidden. What about the blood? What we say about that? That's a lot or not. The Gemara continues. Kihodam <laughs> soli. When Rabsafe actually went up there it is well, Ashkikala Abzika, he found Abzika. Omalis, he told him, Hi Nabi this is not even a question. Why? The Anna Vianai brain, the Rabami, myself, in Rabiana, the son of Rabami, Iklon Lebe Yehuda Bray the Rabshim Ben Posit. We actually bumped in together to who the Rabbi Yehuda. The way you braid the rapture and posse, and the grimulon can you be kufi? And they put in front of us what? A cane, how is the cane? Cane, cane, this. The throat. The throat of a behemoth, yeah? With everything that was connected to it that's the rea, the lung, and the heart, and the liver, everything. It's always one connected. And what? And we ate all of it together. Look at the picture. You can see the picture, how it's connected. You see how it's connected? It's all connected together. Yeah, so you eat all that? Yeah, and one, and if they cook and they ate it, all together. Was there Rabbi Pana wants to see? <laughs> we, don't, we don't need it. No, but uh, you see, uh, Yosef? You have to, oh, you have the picture. You see? Yeah, I think Ashkenazi don't need it. No, I don't think that we eat it anyhow. We don't eat it. Ashkenazi, anyway. Ashkenazi, we don't eat it. Yeah? Anyhow, the Gemara is asking, we have a... Yeah. Okay. Anyhow, let's let's just look a couple more lines of this we're going to end today. Okay? Matki Flo Ravasi. Ravasi is asking, Viteima Rab Shmuel Mizir Konyo. He asked him how we know the word that the meat that you ate by Yehuda, the son of Shem Basil, that you cooked it, yeah, with the liver was the regular way. Dilma, maybe 
Pi Kone, Chutz Legdera, maybe the Kone, how you call it, the neck, was out. So since it was out, yeah, so all the blood was spitting out from that vein, was going out. So there was nothing left over in the past, and that's what you're allowed. But if really, if you cook the wood, the neck, so the blood comes in, maybe then it's forbidden. Inami also michlat abecholit lemikor. Maybe before they cooked it, they did chalita. Chalita means you take a pot, boil it. Exactly. So all the blood absorbs in and doesn't go in, like the Yemenite do. The Yemenite every meat they eat. I don't know today, machmer or not, but the Yemenite custom is every meat they eat first they have to do. I think first they do chalita. After salting, they do chalita. After salting, they do chalita. That's how they told us. All right. Ki had the Rabuno, Chalte le Bechale, Rabuno, after what, after what, he used to, after, I think, he used to, Cholet, how is it Chalita? Boem. But that's the right word. How is it Chalita? That it goes in. Uh, it's not really boiling, because he used to put it with vinegar before he cooked it, and then all the blood goes in, doesn't go out, and then he cooked it. Verab Nachman, Cholet le Berotrin used to. Cholet it to be, make it uh, that the blood should go out with hot water. Anyhow, the Saba Rapope Kamete Rav, the Robin and Neymar, that's a whole Chalo Asir, that the Chomet's vinegar is forbidden. Why? Because it's still when it, before, when you just actually start to do it, it spits a little bit out of blood, and then it's Asir. Omale, so that's what Rav told them. If you want to say that what? That vinegar is forbidden. Also the rest also should be forbidden. Why? The same way he spits out, he also observes in. And that's why if this is forbidden, this is also forbidden. The Gemara brings a story with this. We're going to end this today. Rav Bar Shva. Rav, he came to the house of Rav Nachman. I saw Kavdo Shmiket. They bought in front of him liver that was shaluk. That was how you say shaluk? I don't know the right word in English. Shaluk. No, that you observe all the way. You put like hot water or vinegar, so it makes all the blood to be in and not to go out. It's soaked in. It gets soaked into what? The like you have boiling hot, you take a piece of meat and you boil it out. So it pulls the blood out of the meat. No, not out, it's in. It goes in, it doesn't. Veloyochim, and it didn't eat. Omale, he told them, Bar Beirav, the glove. Loyochim, the student comes in front of the rabbi in my house and he doesn't respect me because I bought in front of him food and he doesn't eat. Uman, who's that student? Rabbi Shva. So the Gemara says, Omalu Rab Nachman Gamu Leshab. Yeah? Open his mouth and shove it into his mouth. Yeah? Yeah, because it means to say it's a lot to eat and there's no Easter in it. And the Gemara answered, Ketana is really Machloik is Tanoi. And with this, we're going to end today. Rab Lezeroi Merakavet Oseri. Veinone said, the liver, it's only Aser if you cook it with other pieces. But the liver himself is never also why because it's busy always to split and it has no time to observe it. Mibnei shepoletet vein abola. Rabbi Shmuel bnei shabiru meboi koimer metubelet. If you put spices on it, oser it. Then it's forbidden. Vein oser it. And also the she herself is also and also she's also other things. Shluka, what happened if you cooked it? Or say it, then they say it. So you see, it's a machlaikis. So that's why he holds like the other people, like Reverend Mimoiko, and that's why he didn't want to eat it. Okay, was, let's stop over here, and we'll continue tomorrow.